So today we're going to talk about categorical variables, uh, but I want to start out by just drawing you my favorite picture again. So this is the one that has the population, and then it has the sample, and we kind of draw the relationship between the population, which has all these individual cases in it, and the sample, which is hopefully a random draw from that population. Um, and the process of moving from the population to the sample, that's called sampling. And then what we're going to try and do in this class is uh, make the movement back in the other direction. We're going to make inference um, and draw conclusions about the population based only on the sample. And as part of this, um, we're going to have uh, quantities that we can compute about both the population and the sample. Um, the ones about the population are going to be called parameters, and the ones about the sample are going to be called statistics. So um, we're going to be talking initially about how to calculate sample statistics, um, and then we're going to use that to draw conclusions about population parameters. So in this section of the course, we're going to be uh, talking about descriptive statistics, and we're going to be using this technique that was popularized by John Tukey, who's my favorite statistician. He's pictured there, and he came up with this idea of exploratory data analysis. And sometimes we call this EDA for short. Um, and the idea of exploratory data analysis is that before you're going to get into doing anything really rigorous, you need to explore your data. And what that means is you need to find some summary statistics, which are numbers, and you need to make some data visualizations, which are pictures. So we're going to talk about doing descriptive statistics for particular t kinds of variables, um, and then we'll wrap around to doing more in-depth statistics later in the course. So we're going to start in this section, which is 2.1, um, and we're going to talk about categorical variables. And we'll start with just one categorical variable. You might remember my general social survey data. Um, as part of the general social survey, they asked people about their marital status. So here's the first 10 rows of this really big data set. You can see some people are married, some people are divorced, widowed, never married. There's a number of different possible marital statuses. Um, and this uh, marital status variable is categorical. So we're going to try doing some summary statistics, which are numbers, and some data visualizations, which are pictures. And for one categorical variable, the summary statistic that we see the most often is a frequency table. So in a frequency table, you just count up the number of cases in every single category. So you might have different uh, levels or categories of your categorical variable. In the case of marital status, we have divorced, we've got married, we've got never married, separated, widowed, and then I have some NAs, not available, so some missing data, just a couple of those. So just by looking at this frequency table, I can see that married is the most common marital status. That kind of makes sense. Uh, after that, we've got never married, which is sort of like the single category. That makes sense to me as well. Um, and, and we can see the other frequencies there. And then another type of numeric st statistic that we might want to compute is a proportion. And the proportion is just the number in the category over the total. And we have some notation that we're going to use. So if we're talking about a proportion from our sample, we're going to call it p hat. And if we're talking about a proportion from the whole population, we'll just call that p. We could try to figure out what proportion of people are married. So here in my uh, frequency table, I've gotten rid of the NAs um, because I think that that's not legitimate data. Um, and I've got my, my table here with the other numbers. The first thing I'm going to need to do in order to figure out the proportion is I'm going to need to figure out the total. So I'm going to need to add up 403 plus 998 plus 670 plus 75 plus 200. And I'll just do that. So I got 2346. So that's the total number of people in my data set, 2,346. And if I wanted to figure out the p hat, the proportion of people who are married, I would just say, uh, how many people are married? 998 out of how many people total? 2346. 
and I would do that division and I would get 0 0.425. I guess I could round that up to a 0 0.43 if I wanted to. So about 43% of the people in my general social survey are married. So I've figured out the proportion of married people. If you wanted to, you could practice by finding the proportion of divorced people or separated people, never married, widowed, one of those other categories. Um, and I'm gonna actually show you the answers on the next screen. So this table is a frequency table. It has the numbers. And if we put the proportions in the table, we're gonna call that a relative frequency table. So we can see here that 0.425 that I computed for the proportion of married people and you could check your work for the other proportions here. And a relative frequency table, all of those proportions need to add up to one so that we have 100% of the people and then we're just seeing what proportion are in each category. So this slide says relative frequency table labor force status. What I've given you is the frequency table. And what I'd like you to do is figure out the relative frequencies uh, for this table and we can talk about them in our synchronous class time. So for one categorical variable, those are our numeric kind of summary statistics, either a frequency table or a relative frequency table. And then our data visualizations would be something like a bar chart or a bar graph. Those are two words for the same thing. Um, and this just has a separate bar for each category. And then the height of the bar corresponds to how many people are in that category. So if we go back, Let's see, 998 people in the married category. So it's just about to 1,000 people. Um, and I could kind of estimate just by looking at the, at the graph how many people are in each category. But the idea of the graph is to give me more of an idea of the distribution. So that's a bar chart. Um, another way that you could visualize one categorical variable is a pie chart. And so this one, instead of mapping to the height of a bar, we're going to map to the angle, the percent of the whole. So we can see that married is almost half. If it was half, it would be, you know, half of the circle. It's, it's not quite there. We can see that never married is about a quarter of the circle, etc. So we could estimate those, those percentages here.